The extracellular signal regulated kinase, ERK, pathway is one of the major signaling cassettes of the mitogen activated protein kinase, MAPK, signaling pathway. The ERK cascade is activated by a variety of extracellular agents, including growth factors, hormones and also cellular stresses to induce cellular processes that include mainly proliferation and differentiation, but under some conditions also stress response and others. The main MOP slash ERK kinase kinase, MEKK, components are the RAF family members RAF1, A RAF and B RAF that phosphorylate two serine residues on the MOP slash ERK kinase, MEK, components MEK1 slash 2. ERK12 are responsible for stimulating the downstream effectors, many of which are transcription factors. One of the major transcription factors is cyclic AMP response element binding protein, CREB. The activation of the ERK12 cascade is mostly initiated at membrane receptors, such as receptor tyrokinases, RTKs, G protein coupled receptors, GPCRs, ion channels, and others. These receptors transmit the signal by recruiting adapter proteins, for example, GRB2, and exchange factors, for example, SOS, that, in turn, induce the activation of RAS at the plasma membranes, or membranes of other organelles. The activated, GTP bound RAS then transmits the signal by activating the protein kinases RAF1, BRAF, and ARAF, RAFs, within the MAPEC level of this cascade. This activation occurs by recruiting RAFs to the membranes, where they are then phosphorylated and activated. MOS is another MAPEC of the ERK cascade, but it operates mainly in the reproductive system by a distinct mode of regulation. From the MAPEC level, the signal is then transmitted down the cascade through the MAP components, MEC1 2. They are activated through serine phosphorylation at the MAPE typical serizaolysis R slash THR motif in their activation loop. In turn, MEC1 2 activate their only known substrates, native ERK12, which function as their sole downstream targets, suggesting that the MEC1 2 serve as the specificity determining components of the ERK12 cascade. The MEC1 2 are the only dual specificity protein kinases that can phosphorylate both regulatory THR entire residues of ERK12. About 200 distinct substrates of ERK12 have been identified to date. They are substrates either in the cytosol, for example, PLA2RSK, or upon translocation, in the nucleus, including transcription factors such as ELK1, CFOS, and CJUN. RAF1 is the best studied of the growth factor signaling molecules at the MAPEC level of the cascade. It is a 70 to 75 K to protein serine slash 3 anine kinase which contains a kinase domain in the Q-terminal half of the molecule and a regulatory domain occupying the remainder. On stimulation with various mitogens, RAF1 undergoes transient activation within 2 to 3 mm. The mechanism of activation of RAF1 has been studied extensively over the past few years. It is now clear that RAF1 is located downstream from HES, which seems to interact directly with the NH2 terminal portion of RAF1 on stimulation. The MEX constitute an evolutionary conserved family of protein serine slash 3 anine kinases that to date includes three highly homologous, 85%, mammalian isoforms. The mechanism of MEC1 activation involves protein phosphorylation on serine residues only and seems to be similar whether phosphorylated by MEC, RAF1, or by autophosphorylation, as determined by phosphopeptide maps. MAPEX, MEX, are highly specific for the downstream components ERK1 and ERK2. Moreover, MAPEC failed to recognize either the denatured form of its substrate or peptides containing the phosphorylation sites in ERK, indicating that the enzyme requires the native form of MAPEC. Because of their high degree of similarity, ERK1 and ERK2 are usually considered to be functionally redundant. In signaling pathway, ERK1 and ERK2 can be phosphorylated by MEC. Because of the rather broad nature of its substrate recognition, the ERKs can phosphorylate a large number of proteins after their activation. These proteins often take part in the key function of cell and are located both in the cytoplasm and the nucleus. Activated ERK12 phosphorylates RSK and both RSK and ERK translocate to the nucleus where they activate multiple transcription factors such as CREB, FOS and ELK1 ultimately resulting in effector protein synthesis and causing changes in cell proliferation and survival. CREB, CAMP response element binding protein, is a cellular transcription factor that can enhance the gene transcription for above 10 times. 
CFOS is a 380 amino acid protein with a basic leucine zipper region for dimerization and DNA binding and a transactivation domain at C-terminus. It is involved in important cellular events, including cell proliferation, differentiation and survival. In addition, ERK1-2 can activate CDC25 protein which activates cyclin-dependent kinases by removing phosphate from residues in the CDK active site. It is known that CDC25 controls the transitions from G1 to S phase and G2 to M phase. So ERK1-2 can promote cell cycle progression. Signaling by receptor tyrosine kinases that activate the ras ref map kinase pathway regulates development and differentiation of many types of cells. Main mechanism is the activation of the signal transducers and activators of transcription proteins, STATs. For example, ERK-mediated molecular switch determines myogenic differentiation. Muscle differentiation is determined by the cellular localization of the signaling molecule ERK. Nuclear localization of ERK promotes a progenitor-slash-proliferative phenotype, while cytoplasmic ERK is associated with myogenic differentiation. Many of the cancer-associated mutations of components of MOPC signaling pathways have been found in RAS and BRAF, both of which participate in the ERK signaling pathway. The ERK signaling pathway plays a role in several steps of tumor development. The phosphorylation by ERK of proteins such as myosin light chain kinase, calpane, focal adhesion kinase, and paxigen promotes cancer cell migration. Furthermore, ERK12 signaling regulates the activities and levels of BCL2 family proteins such as the proaptotic protein BIM and the antiaptotic protein MCL1, thereby promoting the survival of cancer cells. Alzheimer's disease, AD, is a neurodegenerative disease characterized by cognitive and memory dysfunction that is thought to result from the formation in the brain of both senile plaques containing amyloid beta and neurofibrillary tangles containing the microtubule associated protein tau. Studies suggest that MOPC signaling pathways may take part in the pathogenesis of AD through the regulation of neuronal apoptosis, beta, and gamma secretase activity, and phosphorylation of AP and tau. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website, www.creativediagnostics.com.